I've watched many life-changing videos on YouTube. I know the impact that a YouTube video can have. And I know that a channel, a video, is just an expression of the spirit of the one who is making the video. You're a strong human being and you want health and you clicked on this video because of that. Continue on that path, okay? You won't gain anything if you click off of this video. You can click off of it when you feel like you've extracted everything. Yes, I sometimes do that. But if you click off in the middle, then you haven't extracted everything. Because I'm going to tell you many things in this video. So please hang around. Now this was the attention span test, because most people click off at this point. If you're still here, well done. Understand, eliminate, and then add or replace. This is the formula to health. There's nothing else to it. Let me explain this formula. That is what we're going to do for the rest of the video, by the way. And I'm going to tell you what things fit in to these categories, especially the last two. With understanding, you have to realize that you only do things because you think they're good or they fulfill a purpose. So why do people play video games? Well, it doesn't aid in survival. It's not good for them. It doesn't do anything for them at all. It's just pixels on a screen that change. But for many men, it quells the pain that is in their heart, and it also gives them some purpose. They have something that they can accomplish, a goal that they can crush, and that is a part of the male spirit. So as you can see, video games are doing something for this person. Now when it comes to health, it's a bit different. It might become like this later on, especially from an emotional side of things, that you have to do certain things from an emotional side of things, and if you don't do them, you get upset. And this is a mechanism that can in many cases be positive, but in the end, you should transcend it. The way it works when it comes to health is, you learn something, you learn that this is bad and this is good, and that influences your actions. Because when you learn, you gain new thoughts, your thoughts become actions, and then that becomes a habit, and then that becomes a part of your character. Ideally, you want something to become a part of your character as fast as possible. So for me, as an example, because I learned that sugar lowers testosterone when I was 13, I stopped eating sugar completely. It became a part of my character very fast because of conditioning. I've talked about this in another video. But nevertheless, you have to realize that when you understand something from a health perspective, that is when you actually make the change. If someone is born and raised to not realize that junk food is actually bad for them, they just think it's food. Why should they stop eating the junk food if they get sick? How are they going to know that the junk food is actually doing something bad for them? And now, most people know that junk food is bad, but the difference between me and maybe you and most people is that when I look at junk food, I understand exactly what's going to happen. I know about the consequences. Most people don't know about the consequences. They only know that it is something bad. And they don't understand why it is bad, so they continue eating it. If you delve into junk food and you start understanding junk food more, then this mindset of, oh, I can eat it once in a while, will disappear. Because this argument of, I should eat it once in a while because it's not going to do any harm, is like saying, well, I'm a serial killer, but nowadays I only kill someone every month. I used to kill someone every day, now I only kill someone every month. Well, why should you kill someone every month? Why should you damage yourselves once a month? There's no reason whatsoever. The only reason why you're doing it is because you don't understand junk food. As an example, you have to pursue understanding relentlessly, especially in the beginning, because the more things you understand about modern human civilization, the way we're living, what we're eating, the food chain, electromagnetic frequencies, all of this stuff, this entire health matrix that we're in, the more changes you're going to make the more solutions you're tr going to try to pursue. This next part is really important, so listen closely. The healthiest individuals out there are not necessarily doing everything in line with current scientific understanding. 
What do I mean by this? Well, anyone with common sense would realize that semen retention is healthy. So retaining your semen, not ejaculating. And if we look at the people who actually do semen retention and the health benefits that they talk about, you'll see that they gain health benefits. They gain significant health benefits like better skin, better mental clarity, better hair, better confidence, more testosterone. There are many examples of this all over the internet. It's very easy to find. What happens if you ask the medical establishment, so your local doctor, about semen retention? They'll say that there is no evidence whatsoever showing that semen retention is healthy. But if you're a man and you do semen retention, and you've done it for 200 days, and you know that a lot of physiological changes have occurred, and you feel much healthier, you have this mental clarity, this confidence, probably this increased testosterone, you sleep better, you can even eat less and you have the same energy. And this doctor comes and tells you that semen retention isn't healthy. You have to realize that many of these things that make human beings very healthy aren't in the scope of modern science. So you have to venture out on yourself and you have to look at all sources and you have to experiment and you have to draw your own conclusions. Understanding doesn't mean following science. It means following the truth. Science isn't necessarily true. Please get out of this mindset. You don't need to follow science 100% of the time. You only need to follow the truth. Lastly, you should listen and learn from those who are healthy and those who are unhealthy. Those who are healthy will teach you what to do, what works. Those who are unhealthy will teach you what doesn't work and what thought patterns are bad. So as an example, you've got the fruitarian community. And if you look at fruitarians, they rapidly degenerate. Yet every year, many people switch over to fruitarianism and they ruin their health. If you study fruitarians, you'll gain deeper understanding. You'll even know about the food group fruit. You'll know what it does in the body and what it doesn't do. And one of the things that it doesn't do is it definitely doesn't aid the body in creating cells. So only eating fruit will never work. Now you have understanding. What do you do next? The next step is to eliminate because you have to realize that you can only do one thing at a time. If you don't eliminate the bad things, you're not going to be able to add new things. As an example, you only have a certain amount of calories that you can eat every day. If you want to add healthy food, you have to remove bad food because otherwise there won't be enough room in your digestive system to accommodate all the food. It would be stupid. If you're trying to switch over to my type of diet, if you're interested in trying that, it's wise to cut out all of the junk food first. If you eat junk food but you follow this diet, then you've missed the purpose of this diet. Why should you clean your wardrobe if you don't use 70% of the clothes in the wardrobe? You should throw 70% of the stuff that you don't use out first and then you should clean your wardrobe. Then you should tidy everything up. If you have things that are completely unnecessary, you need to throw them out. And when it comes to eliminating stuff, this step is extremely powerful because you don't have to do anything. You just have to avoid spending any energy doing something. And this is far more powerful than actually doing something because it doesn't cost any energy. It frees up energy. It allows you to do stuff that is more productive. That is why the last step is to replace or add. Here's an elimination checklist to see if you've eliminated all the right things. Junk food. The act itself is the bad thing. I don't care if you do it once a week, every day, once a month. Never do it because it causes damage. It's like murdering someone. It's not all right to murder someone if you do it every five years. Okay, yes, okay, doing it every day is a bad thing. It's worse, but still, just because you do it every five years doesn't mean that it's a good thing. You should eliminate it completely. Again, you don't have to see any difference between murder and junk food. Now this might seem crazy, but why are you murdering yourselves? There's no reason to murder yourselves, okay? That's also murder. It's a lesser form of murder, but it's still murder. You're murdering a part of yourself. Video games. Video games do absolutely nothing for you. They just take up your time and um, they expose you to EMF, electromagnetic frequency, 
and they do nothing else. They raise your cortisol, they raise your adrenaline, they cause emotional upset in many people, and so on and so forth. So avoid them, they're unnecessary. Stimulation, so porn and masturbation, TV series, uh, movies, same thing uh, as video games. It's just that you're not actually interacting, except with porn and masturbation where you're masturbating. And you're letting out semen, which is a bad thing, you should be retaining. Coffee. Coffee is a drug. It forces your body to create more energy. Enough said. You don't need it. Eliminate it. It's unhealthy. It stresses you out. Excessive phone usage. Uh, again, um, EMF, electromagnetic frequency, in your face, kills cells. Eliminate it. Only use your phone as a tool to do things that allow you to function in the modern world. Otherwise, don't use your phone. As an example, I'm using my phone to record this video. That's a productive use. Make sure you eliminate all sources of pollution. So if you eat with silverware that contains mercury, eliminate that. Um, make sure you don't have any mold in your house. Make sure you're not eating from plastic. Make sure you avoid pollution as much as possible. And if you don't close your nose when you feel cigarette smoke, close your nose. That is also a type of elimination. You're eliminating cigarette smoke from your life or bad smoke. And if you work somewhere where you're exposed to toxic chemicals, change your job because your job automatically will make you unhealthy. So you need to change that. You need to eliminate that job from your life. Then we've got negative thoughts, worry, anger, greed, gluttony, resentment. You know, all of these bad things really that occur mentally. Those are also things that you need to eliminate because again, these cause you to expend more energy than you need to. They block up certain systems in the body and they don't allow you to function the way you should. You'll be much better off without them. You've done an excellent job. You've come a long way and I hope you'll implement everything. And now that we're talking about implementing, you've understood, you've eliminated, and now we need to add and replace. And it's not really that hard. You've freed up a bunch of time and energy by eliminating everything that is bad. Now you need to add in the things that actually create a powerful, healthy, beautiful, amazing, high-quality human being. That is what we're striving for. You're not mediocre. You're not like these other zombies out there. You're not unhealthy. You're not brainwashed. You're strong, okay? You're strong. If your spirit is strong, over time, your face will reflect it. Your body will reflect it. So please, stick with this. The first thing is more of a mindset really. Um, it's the perfect diet. And what I mean by a perfect diet is eating the absolute best diet possible. But that is too complex to go over in this video. So watch my other videos about diet and you might be able to grasp some of what that is. For the sake of this video, we're going to keep it short. A perfect diet is a whole foods diet that is devoid of pollution, that is completely natural, that consists of things from the animal and the plant kingdom that aid in your health. Nothing is unnecessary. Everything is healthy, okay? You're never eating something that is completely empty, like junk food. You're only eating things that you're proud to have enter inside of you. Seriously, you should be proud of eating the food that you eat. Vow to do this for the rest of your life. You're not mediocre. This isn't a challenge. You're not losing anything. You're only eliminating all the bad stuff and now you're replacing it with healthy food. You're only eating healthy food for the rest of your life. The next thing is sunlight because without sunlight you can't regulate your circadian rhythm and you can't create any vitamin D. Remember, vitamin D is absolutely essential and you can't get it in adequate amounts through your diet. You need to get it from the sun. So don't wear any sunscreen because then you won't be getting any vitamin D because vitamin D is created when you get UVB, okay? You need UVB. Don't avoid UV radiation. Use it moderately so that you get enough vitamin D. Don't stay in it excessively because it can damage your skin. It's just like the cold or the heat, okay? Earthing. When you touch the earth, you get electrons. I've made an entire video about it and that basically gives resources to your body. The next thing to add is meditation because if you eat the healthiest meal in the world, 
and then you get angry and you get an upset stomach then you won't really utilize the meal right so your body responds to your emotions and this is a very clear way of seeing this so this happens on a minor scale when you're worried or you're upset or you just feel negative about the world because that is going to give negative signals to your body and your organs respond to that because they're a part of your body so everything set aside all factors set aside you've got the exact same person but this guy is very peaceful and this guy is like you he's not really peaceful all the time like this guy he's not Eckhart Tolle level of peacefulness he's just an average dude when it comes to how he feels sometimes he's angry sometimes he's upset at someone and he doesn't really have any insight into his emotions who do you think is healthier of course this guy is healthier because he's not telling his cells that he's under threat and in our modern world we're almost never under threat so thinking that you are under threat because of emotional drama is just completely unnecessary it's necessary if there's a lion in front of you and you have to run away but in the modern world if you're angry resentful or emotionally upset that is completely unnecessary the next thing on the checklist is movement and movement is a funny thing if you want to know the truth about exercise observe any animal in nature what does it do when there is nothing threatening it it sits there it looks for food calmly uh, walks around doesn't do anything dramatic and it's the same with human beings but modern human beings have been told that they need to do high intensity exercise to be healthy which is complete garbage we need movement of course we need movement for our bodies to function correctly and all animals move it's just that now we've got people who run marathons which is extremely unhealthy because you're not supposed to move that much in one go your body can't handle that that is extreme stress that is seen as a survival situation by your body and you've got people who sit on their asses all day both are extremes both are bad we created exercise because of this stuff that's the problem now move okay walk like five kilometers every day you can do that but don't run five kilometers every day that's 35 kilometers in a week that is too much running that is too much high intensity exercise you have to let your heart recover and ideally your heart doesn't want to move that much if you just let it beat naturally like your body wants what do you think is best letting it beat naturally exactly as it wants or forcing it to beat um, very fast and very intensely for an hour every day what do you think is going to lead to more health and longevity of course you're stressing out the organ more if you're doing high intensity exercise so it's a fine balance you need enough movement but you don't want to burn up resources you don't want to cause any organ damage now lastly before we get into the final instructions i just want to say that there was something i should have mentioned during elimination that i'm going to mention now semen retention is needed for the absolute pinnacle of health do it seriously it has been documented by the chinese and the indians it is an extremely powerful practice because 50 percent of a life is in one ejaculation if you're ejaculating you're losing a lot of life i don't think you have the right perception on this matter whatever you think that you're losing when you ejaculate ramp that up as high as you can you're losing a lot and the most valuable fluid in your body is semen seriously if you keep that your body won't need to produce more of it as i've explained in this video if you lose it your body will need to produce more of it now here are the instructions make three lists make a list where you have the things that you want to understand then the things that you need to eliminate and the things you need to add or replace take the things i've said in this video write them down when it comes to elimination and uh, replacing and adding and then in understanding you can add things from these two lists if you don't understand certain things over here add them in the understanding list and I have a bunch of other videos that go through many of the things that I've mentioned in this video in these two lists they will help you when it comes to understanding and of course when you have understanding you will do these two more efficiently 
then add things that you want to eliminate or that you want to add and then put it up on your wall or just have it in front of you and see how well you're doing when it comes to all of this because you can add things that you're already doing and then things that you're not already doing follow these lists that you've made and you'll be healthy it's not that hard it's seriously not that hard and lastly I'll mention that if you want to boost your understanding through the roof seriously through the roof then get the six health commandments you can get the 10 dietary rules which is my free pdf but the six health commandments will make you skyrocket when it comes to health understanding and what happens when you understand health better you'll actually apply more of this what i've noticed is that when i research something or when i as an example watch frank yang's videos he's an enlightened guy the desire to meditate is increased and it becomes a more pleasant experience and I make progress in that regard now I'm going to tell you something that many people on this platform won't tell you I don't expect you to like the video or share the video or do anything from from a channel perspective you know why I don't have to tell you this I don't have to have this expectation if the video helped you you will do that if the video didn't help you you won't do that when I really like a video, I like it. I don't need the other person on the screen telling me to like the video. I don't think that helps in the long run. I think that the only reason you should like or subscribe or share the video is if you can genuinely share it with someone that needs it, then you should share it. If you want more people to see the video, then you can like it and share it and... Um, subscribe because then youtube is going to send the video out to more people and they'll find me and then they'll be influenced to make healthier choices if you're interested in doing that then you should like the video and so on and so forth but if you're not interested in it then feel free to not do so the overall objective here is just to make you healthy i just want to help you that is the only reason i'm here if you want to achieve excellent health i know you can do it